Ladies and gentlemen, coach normal, teacher normal, professional normal, some other stuff normal here again. And today we are going to talk about literature in CSGO terms, books, right? Now, the first thing my AP Lit teacher told me on the very first day of school, like one month ago, was that in literature, everything is always intentional, whether it be violence, symbols, just anything, right? So how does this work in CSGO? Well, Pretend like every single match is a piece of literature and you yourself, you are the author and everything you do is the stuff that happens in the story. You are writing your own story. Now, what does that matter, right? So if you're writing your own story, then you have to be intentional about it, right? You have to look toward the future, but you also can't just randomly skip parts, right? What do I mean by that? So. And CS, let's say we're on Canal, we're on the beautiful, beautiful map of Anubis right now. Let's say E-Box right here is smoked off. And your goal is to get from point A to point B into E-Box or outside E-Box, the way outside the smoke. Now, do you treat this as point A to point B? Oh, I can't pay. From here to there, two points. Or do you treat this at from here to here to there to there to there? Right? Because... If you mindlessly just do something and walk up, let's say you walk, walk up here, right? Straight line. And then, what if they blow that smoke? You're kind of cooked, aren't you? Like, you have nowhere to run. You're kind of caught in the open. If you're in the water, at the very least, you have a little bit of, you know, off angle that you can play off of, right? So you want to maximize your chances of winning. And how, what does that mean in the book, right? In the book, you, you want to know your start and your end, but you also want to... You also want to have details in the middle so that it's not too, like, it feels like you didn't work, the uh, character didn't work for it, right? Like, say, example, this man is on the revenge story, and then he just sees the other person in public, and he kills him. Boom. That's it. That's kind of bad, right? That's not a good plot. And CS, that just means do smart things, right? Do do very, very smart things. And let's say um, you're in E-Box now, right? Now... Let's pretend that the main character is fighting a dragon. Does he rush the dragon without any armor? No, he doesn't. He actually has some setup and he has some information about what the dragon does and can't do. For example, in CS, you want to write or write a self flash or a pop flash. Boom! That's your setup to fight the dragons that are on site, if that makes sense. So. You want things to be intentional, you want things to be reasonable as well, because as you get better, your novel is going to go from, like, three-year-old writing to literal, like, Shakespeare writing, because, and technically, you get better. As you get better, your writing and your literature gets more and more refined, and you are able to write greater and greater works. Now, in CS, that just means as you get better, you kill better, you win better, you do better stuff, right? Things feel better, right? You, you don't feel as much of a noob, basically. You're ranking up as a writer, if that makes sense. Now, I think that's all I have to say for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I do, I am trying to hit 1,000 uh, subscribers before the end of the year. I'm at, I think, almost 750 right now. So I would really, really love it if you guys drop the sub. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Also, I have a Discord server. It's in the description down below if you guys are trying to join it and talk to me would be great i would love to talk to you as well so yeah i'll see y'all in the next one bye